Hello my angels! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now this vlog is going to be a little bit different and it is going to be a Valentine's extravaganza and we are going to be doing it all. I'm talking what to wear on Valentine's. We're going to be doing a full Valentine's photo shoot. I'm talking more roses than you can shake a stick at. Champagne, chocolate, jewellery and then we're going to be doing a full-on Valentine's tablescape and what to bake for your Valentine this year. Literally, as I said, it is going to be a Valentine's extravaganza. And you guys know me, I love love. And whether you are celebrating Valentine's, Galentine's, petting times, friend times, any love of any sort, you can literally celebrate it in any which way you want to. I feel like with Valentine's, people can get a little bit down and lonely and upset and I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a similar situation with Christmas. It can be a time where you feel really low and really lonely but please, please know that you don't have to be. First of all, I'm always here to celebrate with you guys and I absolutely love every single one of you for always being there and being so supportive of me. But secondly, whether you do galentines with your girlfriends, friend times, pet times, celebrate love in any kind or any way possible. And so this is going to be a Valentine's love extravaganza. So, starting off in the dressing room, what are we wearing, ladies and gentlemen? Have you got yourselves organised? Because I had a lot of fun on my Teresa website and my order has literally just arrived. And I couldn't make my mind up. I was so indecisive and I just thought, do you know what, actually, you know what? Mark has organised a surprise Valentine's. Now that is going to be coming on a whole nother vlog, but I've got to get my ducks in a row and he hasn't given me any idea at all. So I thought, what a better opportunity. Obviously you guys are all going to be doing different things, whether we're going all out glam or whether we're doing something that's really wholesome or maybe at home. So I basically got an outfit. I think I ordered about three or four uh, outfits for all different occasions. The boxes have just arrived, so let's try them on. So first things first, I absolutely love their packaging. I mean, it's iconic. You know it's from my Teresa when it comes in a gorgeous big yellow box. So, what do we have in here? Beautifully gift wrapped to perfection. So saying, thank you, this package has been lovingly wrapped. Lovingly wrapped! See, everybody's feeling the love. Oh, by Jonathan. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. How lovely. And it has been handwritten. That is beautiful. And it quite literally has been so beautifully gift wrapped. So, a bit sad, but let's destroy it. Oh, yes. Well, obviously we can't have Valentine's without a touch of red. Now, this year, I've always loved ribbons and bows, but I feel like this year they have come back. <sighs> I feel like you guys are gasping with me. This could either be drop dead gorgeous. I'm thinking Christiane Louboutin's a killer red lip and my husband might just have a heart attack. <laughs> it's epic. It is epic. Okay, hopefully I can get the girls in there. It is quite short for me. I mean, oh, I might have to wear a pair of tights underneath. I might get a, a cold body. My goodness me. That was not what I was thinking. But anywho, you know, love is in the air. Da, na, 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 love is in the air. I am in such a fabulous mood. And I also promised myself and Anna and Ellen that this vlog would not be a zillion hours long. <sighs> Outstanding. Well, we are going to be popping that on in just a moment. But I do have, excuse my rather large bottom, 
um, another large box. So let's unbox this and just take a little look. Just gonna have to go gobbly over there. Okay, obviously gotta keep all of this stuff just in case it doesn't fit. Or we need a bigger size or a smaller size or, you know, it doesn't look right. Okay, we need to keep that. <gasps> we have a uh, humongous box. Okay, out the way and let's open her up. Oh, just stunning. It is so beautifully gift wrapped. So, gents, if you are watching this and you are wanting to buy your girlfriend or partner or wife, whatever, whatever they might be, a beautiful dress for Valentine's, then keep watching because you could even buy their outfit for them in time for Valentine's. How special would that be? So in here, now I have been lusting after a particular dress for really quite some time. I actually saw it on another uh, vlogger and she looked outstanding. Amelia, if you guys follow her, she is so, so beautiful and quite honestly, I mean, she's goals. She's goals in every single meaning of the word from obviously being one of the most talented vloggers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, content creators there are out there. Second of all, just where she is in life and she's just the most beautiful and lovely person. That said, I've actually not met her in real life, but um, uh, I adore being one of her subscribers. And I saw this dress, back to the point, Leonora, back in the room, I saw her wear this dress to, I think it was, I think she was at the Eden Rock in the south of France, um, in saint jean cap fra and this dress, I was like, it is just the most beautiful, timeless, elegant dress I've ever seen in my life. And quite honestly, it, it is an investment, but I feel it's something that I'm going to have forever. And I pray that it looks as good on me as it does on Amelia. So I ordered that dress, along with a few others, of course. Now, let's take a little look. And I need your help to tell me which dress I should be keeping and which dresses are going back. So, oh my goodness okay so this is not the dress i was just talking about but hold on to your knickers wow this is the most beautiful david comma 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 correct me in those comments down below dress of dreams and it's all about the tailoring one it's off the shoulder so although it's quite barbie-esque and you've got the glitter i feel like the off the shoulder will really keep the sophistication of the dress and then it is literally tailored you've got slight bit of almost like corseting and bonage in the bustier at the top and then i think it's just going to be exceptional look at the back you've got the back slit well we're going to pop it on we're gonna pop it on, ladies and gentlemen. And then I need your votes. I need you to let me know in those comments down below. Am I keeping all of them? Or am I sending them back? Oh, these are just delicious. Okay, and the piece de la resistance. Ooh, it feels different to how I thought it was going to feel. Okay, okay. This is the dress. So obviously, Cream, as you may have guessed it, is one of my favourite, favourite colours. I don't know, would you call it a colour? Um, hmm, I'm not really selling this very well, am I? Right, where, where, where is the front of it? Um, I promise you, this does look absolutely stunning. So this is a Kate dress, or Kate, Kate, I think it's pronounced. K-H-A-I-T-E, Kate. Let's go with that. And, okay, right, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to show you this on. I can't fight with it like this, but it's actually quite a heavy, almost like jersey material. Now, I would have expected it to be, mm -hmm. it's amazing composition in terms of fabric, but I thought it might be like a chiffon -y silk. But, you know what? Very cooling, and uh, you know, I could throw some shapes in this dress, most certainly. Okay, I think I've got it. I think, 
this is the front of the dress. As you can see, it's off the shoulder as well. It's very Grace Kelly, very Marilyn Monroe. Also looks very tiny, but it is the most divine stretchy fabric. So, they're all different. They are all absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so let's put them all on. Can we just take a moment? <gasps> it is out standing it is absolutely gorgeous i mean it is quite short i mean have you ever seen me in such a short dress before so i have popped on a pair of black tights i've got a gorgeous pair of christian louboutins so the legs are elongated and obviously with the court heel it just makes them look that little bit longer you've got the short red dress it is strapless and you've got the gorgeous bows now i have this in a size 10 which fits perfectly to the waist but i must admit i feel like i'm going to be spending the evening like it's a little bit big on the old chest i mean if i if i sort of like tuck the girls up a bit i mean look at the boobage i mean oh hello never thought i'd be doing that on my youtube channel and i'm sure there are a few of you that probably will screenshot that so um yeah thanks very much <laughs> or i should say you're welcome but i love it i might actually have it tailored to be taken in slightly the top because it fits so beautifully here and i've got my little classic bottega veneta clutch bag and I think this is a dress that you could wear throughout the entire year. If you're going to cocktail parties, if you've got a party before Christmas, you've got your office party, if you're going on girls' night, this would be the one. But I do think I probably either need to size down, it's just whether I'm gonna have enough room around the waist if I size down. This is the 10, as I said, and it is, hmm, I definitely have, yeah, I think I could have gone with the size eight, but, I am in love with this. I think it is absolutely exceptional. The quality is sublime and it is really rather sexy, don't we think? Ah! Oh, I think Marcus is going to love this one, but he did tell me that where we are going is really rather, you know, it's, it's on the more conservative it's quite formal vibe so you know i don't want to give anybody a heart attack with this dress on um but that said this is absolutely beautiful and ladies and gentlemen she is in the sale so as i always do i will leave all the details in that description box down below but this is divine now are we having a barbie moment i think we should so let's pop her on i can't cry get the back done up by myself but you guys will get the gist <sighs> I mean I really feel like a Barbie in this dress I've gone a bit off with the sizing I ordered this in a size 8 and um, you know I've got really rather a lot of room in here I could have I mean I've never been a size 6 in my entire life but you know I suppose that all designers are different um, I think I have a little bit too much room around here and here. Hmm. But I do think it's very, very elegant and the fit and the silhouette of it is absolutely beautiful. So this is the David Coma or Coma, I'm not quite sure. As I said, you guys let me know. The most beautiful baby pink. And then almost like this little sausage detail got a lot of structure to it and although it is pink and sparkly I just feel so elegant in it it's so pretty and I think that's because it is off the shoulder I do think it is meant to be a little bit tighter but that said you know we don't always have to have everything like <laughs> I don't like to be a Cumberland in a triple skin so it is quite nice to have a little bit of room <sighs> well number one I mean knockout number two is very pretty you've got like a hint of sparkle at the top but I am saving <gasps> I'm secretly got my hopes up for number three I'm I don't know I don't know okay I'm gonna pop it on and I'm going to let you decide okay I feel this may have been made for me and I quite rightly so fell in love with it 
<gasps> have you ever seen something just so swishy <gasps> and absolutely magical? I literally feel like Cinderella in this. And it's all about the fit. So you've got the most elegant, extremely ladylike and sophisticated neckline. It is slightly off the shoulder and you can make it as off the shoulder as you like, but I like to just keep it just on the cusp. And it's got these really smart details where they cross over your chest, holding them up into the perfect position. And then it just shows off the waist. I mean, look at how skinny, look. I mean, this is the dress, this is not me. And then look at how it just sits over the bottom. You know when a dress is just so elegantly cut, yet you can still see a little bit of the shape of a bottom. It looks a little bit sexy, but then look at the length of the dress. It is literally pure perfection and the twist and I have a feeling Marcus and I oh I'm getting dizzy Marcus and I are going to have a little bit of a dance where we are going it's very very romantic he told me it is on the other end of the spectrum when it comes to being dressy and this might be perfect again this is a dress that you could keep for a lifetime through literally winter white you could pop on a like white faux fur coat like a mob wife era very very old school classy vibe or you know spring you could have a little pashmina over your shoulders summer quite frankly Amelia just rocked it I think she actually accessorized this with like gold accessories it was outstanding. I mean, I saw the picture and was like, where is the dress from? And then did a little bit of light stalking to find out where it was from and voila. So you can call me very much influenced. Absolutely stunning. But anyway, as I was saying, through the summer, you could literally pop loads of different colors with this. Pink, red, orange, blue, navy. You could go full cream. Absolutely stunning. I'm thinking like hair up and then like pearls. Oh, absolutely stunning. Oh no, I love all of them. But they're all so, so different. Um, so you guys are gonna have to let me know in those comments down below. But as I said, tomorrow we have got a full on shoot. We are literally shooting everything from beauty, perfume, chocolate. So you'll have to keep watching to get a sneak peek, as I say. And then we will be heading home. I've got more roses. We are shooting a campaign for flower tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and it's just the most amazing collection of luxury brands and everybody's collaborating and the creative direction is, is just outstanding. So I cannot wait. It's going to be the most amazing day and you guys all love seeing the behind the scenes So I will most certainly be taking you with me. We've got the whole dream team tomorrow So we have got Anna. We've got Ellen who you haven't met before So Ellen is the latest addition to our team, which is really really exciting Ellen is our new intern and she's just the most divine soul and I feel so proud and so excited to just have the best team and this year as I always say just hold on to your knickers because there's some there's some mega things coming so we've got Ellen we've got Claudia oh the full shebang and of course my wing woman who is Anna who um just make sure that I stay on the straight and narrow and we get everything done somehow we get it all done so that is tomorrow and then I am going to be breaking up the roses and I'm going to be creating the most fresh and stunning tablescape and then finally just because it wouldn't be a lean or a vlog without it being jam-packed I'm going to be sharing my favorite sweet treats to in fact treat your valentine so I'm going to be baking the most simple yet scrumptious treats that you can make for your valentines your friends your galentines all of that jazz so Oh, it's gonna be a wild vlog. It's gonna be an amazing vlog and I cannot wait. So pour yourselves another glass of champagne and let's do this.
first stop of the day, we are going to Tatiana to have the hair done. I'm so excited. This is actually a contact of Claudia's. So the name of the hair salon is Tatiana Carolina. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. We've gone like business in the front and obviously a party in the back. Um, and we are now actually heading over to Beecham Place. As I said yesterday, we are shooting the most breathtaking gown of all time. I think I might secretly, I don't know. It's very different to my wedding dress, but I think it might even be that touch more just breathtaking. So we are going to Beach and Place to Suzanne Neville to collect that and then we are heading over to the Pelham. So we are shooting in the King's Suite today which is just so exciting. Um, Matteo, the head of PR there is just incredible and he's always so kind and the Pelham, I don't know if you guys, if you've ever been to the Pelham before you will know that it's just stunning. The architecture, the interior design, the team, the hotel is just absolutely stunning and the service is just incredible sorry just trying to negotiate London traffic as per usual so we will collect the dress head over to the Pelham and then yeah it's gonna be all go 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 as I said yesterday we're shooting everything from perfumes beauty we have I think it's three maybe 400 pale pink roses arriving from flowered directly to the Pelham because Nem is just incredible. We're running a little bit behind schedule, so sadly I wasn't able to pick them up, but he is sending them, which is just, it makes life a lot easier. Um, and then, what else are we shooting today? We're everything. shooting everything. <laughs> we are shooting street style, which is very exciting. Love a bit of street style. And then we are shooting all things Valentine's. <laughs> I might get a little bit too kinky. Um, <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Know that's coming out. You guys will not be seeing that. <laughs> Might see a bar strap or two, but nothing further. Um, yes, uh, I, you know, I like to strive for freedom, <coughs> but just not show it. Um, anywho, well, it's a beautiful day. The skies are blue and the sun is shining, so Claudia will be very happy about the lighting. And yeah, it's going to be a fabulous day. Just arrived at Suzanne Neville. Oh, let's go and collect the dress. I'm like Lewis Hamilton over here. Can we just talk about the news that came out last night? Anna and I have literally been talking about it pretty much the whole way up here. Lewis Hamilton is going to Ferrari. Like, what is going on? I mean, I am secretly very excited about it. And I do have a little, you know, a little somewhere in my heart for Lewis Hamilton. Don't know what it is. Mm, scrumptious. Anywho, um, I'm currently driving like him round London, negotiating traffic. Hands are firmly on the steering wheel. I feel like I will terrify you all with my driving, but I promise you I am a very safe driver. I do also have an Arctic license. So, you know, my spatial awareness is 
on point. Anyway, we're on our way now to the Pelham Hotel. We are staying on here. Oh, I know exactly where we're going, Furlough Place. Cool. Okay, well, we'll see you when we get there. With my dream team, everybody's here. And my gorgeous girly. So we are obviously in London. Car is parked. All of our stuff is in the hotel. We've actually just had a very quick spot of lunch, um, which was absolutely delicious. As you can see, my makeup is actually not finished um, yet. So I just wanted to feed the team just so that everybody was full and ready to rock and roll. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind. Um, and I'm so excited. Once we get to the hotel, I will formally introduce you to Ellen. Um, but it's going to be the most amazing day. The lighting is absolutely beautiful. A spot of wind, which actually always adds to the sort of drama, um, to the content, and it's also making my eyes water. Um, anywho, we're gonna just trot across the street into the Pelham, oh, and all hell is going to break loose, but it's gonna be mega. Here we go, back at the beautiful Pelham. I cannot wait to see the suite. I think it's going to be absolutely incredible. Just arrived in the King's Suite, and as you can see, my goodness gracious me, it is very, very royal indeed. Look at that bed, it is absolutely incredible beautiful wardrobes and look at that stunning marble fireplace this is absolutely stunning hi guys <laughs> this is my outfit of the day before we start shooting and i am obsessed with the hair i literally feel like enchanted rapunzel vibes um very very pretty and then we've got our own oh are we chilling ladies <laughs> We're just waiting. Well, I'm actually going to spin around because with the lighting behind, it looks very dark in here, but it's, it's actually not. It is so, so stunning. Look at the artwork. And my goodness gracious me, Flowered have literally just dropped off the roses. There are, I think there are about 300 roses in this incredible bouquet. It is in a gorgeous vase with water, but I actually... Um, I couldn't quite lift it out of the box, which is not ideal. So we're gonna have some help to take it out of the box. And then they've actually sent me some foliage because you guys know me, I'm most certainly not going to leave this uh, bouquet like this. I'm going to strip it apart when we get home and create the most magical Valentine's tablescape. And I needed some foliage to add to it. But to continue looking around the room, look at this artwork. It is stunning, the cornicing at the top, beautiful chandelier, another marble fireplace. I feel like, Anna, this is very you, this room. I love this room. Yeah, it's yeah, so I you. What do you call it? Um, what's the like academia? Oh, dark academia. Dark, dark, academia. dark academia. All over that. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that is so you. Marble fireplace yeah, of dreams. Dark wood. Oh, mahogany. You need some books in here and then I'd be... And then she'd room. move in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But look at this, oh, very cool. Oh wow, so light and bright. Mm, we're shooting lots of beauty today, so we could actually in fact shoot a little bit in here. God, look at this hair. Oh, I feel like when, when I was younger, I literally had hair, all of my own hair um, that was this long. I'll have to try and find a picture and I will insert it here. Um, but gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning Spagliato, as we like to say. And we are literally in the heart of Kensington. That is in fact Kensington um, Underground, right over there. So anywho, we are going to get ourselves all organized and then we're actually gonna head out whilst the lighting is absolutely stunning. And we're gonna shoot street style to begin with. So um, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> this one has found her books. Yeah. My god, what do they have? So, we have Rudyard Kipling. Oh, Rudyard. one of your faves. Oh, we love a bit of Rudyard Kipling. Um, we've got, oh, Castle's Encyclopedia. Oh, an encyclopedia. I, I could do with that one. General information. Oh, fantastic. Look at all of the silverware. That's so beautiful. Good look at the antiques. God, I love, I know, I'd love to know the history of that. It's sort of like slightly Moroccan, but it's got um, acorns. So sweet. Gosh, how amazing. What's the last one? They're all encyclopedias. Oh, very interesting. 
Oh. Oh. To Morrison. Fascinating. Well, she's got her books. The girls are getting all organised. And everybody, this is Ellen. Ellen is the latest member to our team, which is so exciting. And so, yeah, this is the first shoot. Very, very exciting. Excited. I mean, honestly. And look at you, you look like the supermodel yourself. Thank you very I mean, look at my team. I think, actually, I think I do actually have the most beautiful team there is out there. Oh gosh, well, the dresses are here. The dress of dreams is hanging over there. We're gonna get all of the accessories out. Claudia is on camera duty, of course. Anyway, let's do this. Well, we have just finished shooting outside. Oh, that was fun. I'm sorry that we didn't get any behind the scenes of outside. Um, there are a couple of things that sadly I can't show you yet, but are coming soon, I promise you. But I'm literally just about to put on the most breathtaking gown I have ever seen. I literally, the second I saw it, on the Suzanne Neville, I don't know, all the campaign shoots, it, I actually gasped. It is so, so beautiful, and I feel like I can say that it is so me. Um, it's pretty, it's pink, it's girly, it's glamorous, it's just heavenly. So I cannot wait for you to see it and wait for you guys to see what we're going oh, to yeah. be shooting in it. Um, we've been sent the most obsessed seen a bouquet of pale pink roses oh my goodness me my face is hurting i said my face is always hurting when i talk to you guys and i'm also bending over like this because um i haven't actually got the dress on yet and i've just got my black tights on so that is not a look for youtube there's anna in the background <laughs> she's like what are you doing um but anyway oh gosh it's been the best day the best day so far we've got about six more campaigns at least maybe a seventh if we've got time so we've got another three four hours and fingers crossed we will we'll make it happen yeah we've got a lot to do um but we will be filming all of it for behind the scenes so you guys can see it and can be obviously part of the team as well anyway let's get going just had a slight panic got the dress on we're doing it up and anna says <laughs> I was like, nobody move, <laughs> nobody move, Leonora, get out of the dress. So I'm currently, literally, as you can imagine, got no clothes on, and there is literally a tarantula in the chawl. We've got it out now, and we're just double checking. We're just double checking to see if it's his so family good. are in the chawl. Um, no okay, perfect, no family. Oh. Right, okay, dress is going back on. <laughs> officially feel like a Disney princess. Have you ever seen something quite so magnificent? Just everything about this, the colour, the cut, the train, the corseting in a Suzanne Neville is just phenomenal. The hair has gone up. I've still got the pearls in and actually these are, I feel like, my earrings of the season, mostly because they are an absolute steal. I mean, I say that. They are, I will leave them in the description box down below because they, these are some sneaky numbers. They look incredible, yet they are, honestly, they're a bargain. Um, but I feel like a princess and this dress is just everything. So we are shooting the most breathtaking 
pink roses with this dress, especially for Valentine's Day. And we are shooting an incredible perfume. Actually, I feel like it is my signature scent. It is the Guerlain Rose Cherie. And I think this dress is perfect for it. So I'm probably going to prop you up somewhere or one of the girls is going to film the behind the scenes, but um, I just feel, oh, rather actually overwhelmed. Um, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. motion is like no. the bingo wings are going stunning image Thank the you. bingo wings however <laughs> I need to work on them and um, may you jewelry me up <laughs> look at this guys actually and I show everybody on YouTube How stunning is this so this is a brand new set from Tivon fine jewelry these are extremely rare morganites set in rose gold and diamonds absolutely scrumptious and I think it's fair to say that I think they go perfectly with today's accessories so I'm going to be popping these in and we're now going to be shooting the most beautiful perfume from Guerlain and it's a perfume called Rose Cherie and for those of you who always ask me about my perfume and what I'm wearing it's I would say nine times out of ten Rose Cherie it's so beautiful and it just sort of like holds a really special place in my heart because um, my grandmother used to wear Guerlain. Not the same one, she always used to wear Shalimar. Anyway, it's all going well. Still got an obscene amount to do. It's getting dark outside. So, um, wish us luck. How are you doing, Leo? I'm doing really well. <laughs> Thanks very much. I will say like, definitely the reformers is helping in terms of like, you know, stomach muscle strength. I've got definitely a two pack they're shaking, <laughs> literally shaking, but apparently that means they're working. I mean, uh... Get intimate with the buttons. Okay, and now the feather. Okay. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to... I don't want to be prepared for the <laughs> The final look of the day is this incredible Rebecca Valance dress that I showed you yesterday. It is sadly a little bit too big for me, but I think I could just have the top taken in because the bottom of it is absolutely perfect. And the hair is back down and I have literally got the bow of dreams. This bow is huge. I'm just gonna show you the back of it. This is the Vivian Sheriff bow. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not doing justice. I'm going to get would the girls. <gasps> Ellen, would you mind absolutely. showing everybody <laughs> the behind? There we go. There she is. Hello. The beauty. Thank you have you. smashed it today, my Thank darling. Thank you so much. I, I look great. Oh my god, it's 
it's been amazing. I can't wait for them to see the footage. It yes. is mega, isn't it? Me too, Peggy. Right, I'm That's gonna pass amazing. it over. Thank you. And then, yeah, maybe if the lighting is right. And that there is the bow. Beautiful heels. And Bob's your uncle. We're ready to shoot the final look. Big Mac meal, please, with a McFlurry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Home sweet home. And what a day it has been. Oh, Rafi, I'm actually going to just sit down. Oh, with the boys for a moment and catch up with you guys. It is 25 past nine. It's been a long day, but an amazing one. My goodness gracious me. The content that we shot today is just, oh, just amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. And I just can't wait to see it come to life. Um, everything, you know, when we have an idea and a plan and then that plan then gets executed and we go to a brand and we say we pitch an idea we say this is how we want it to come together and this is the content vision and this is the content direction and then obviously speak to the team and Claudia and and then to kind of see it come to life on her camera and obviously the quality and just the talent that Claudia has oh I cannot wait. We have just emptied the car. <laughs> We've got everything home. Obviously got all of the dresses, the gowns, and the main gown will be going back on Monday. So I'm with the boys. Oats, you gonna say hi? Raffy, huh? Oh, say hi, my little pick a link. Anyway, I am going to spend some time with the boys on the sofa. We're going to have some sausage snogs, aren't we, Raffy? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, oh my goodness, my dream team. Oh my goodness gracious me, babies, huh? Oh, Mr. Jealousy Chops. Oh, Mr. Jealousy Chops, he's a love vibration. Anyway, talking of dream teams, I feel so beyond lucky, very lucky to have the best team in the world. Like today, I literally stood there and I just thought, I just can't believe how lucky I am to just be surrounded by the most divine, enthusiastic, supportive, kind, just incredible humans. And I can't wait to see what we can build together. I think it's amazing. And um, I'm really excited for, for Anna and Ellen to see the content come to life as well. I think all of their hard work and dedication to kind of see it all come together, I think is gonna be amazing. Huh? We're having a three-way snog here. <laughs> what is going on? A major three-way snog. Hey, boys. Hey. Well, I've just actually popped all of the flowers into flower buckets outside. So I'm going to keep them outside tonight to keep them cold, which is the best way to keep them alive. If I was to bring them indoors tonight, I think the heat shock would actually kill them. So I've popped them all in fresh water and then they're going to stay nice and cool tomorrow. I'll bring them in and we are going to create the most <laughs> sensational literally sensational Valentine's um, tablescape. And <laughs> that's a lot. I think want some camera time. You're wanting to say hello to everybody. He's become a bit of a tartlet, if truth be known. He's an Instagram sensation. And he says, mommy, they're actually coming to the YouTube channel to see me, not you. <laughs> I certainly think there's truth in that. Um, but as I said, we're gonna be doing the most mega Valentine's tablescape. And I'm going to let you guys in on my secret recipe to my favorite sweet treats to treat your Valentine this year. So that is gonna be coming tomorrow. It's going to be an extra special 
extra loving, extra gorgeous, probably extra long um, by this point. It's probably an hour long. <laughs> Ruffy's trying to say hello. Anyway, we are going to be calling it a night. I'm going to be having plenty of sausage snogs <laughs> this evening and I will see you guys for the most divine day tomorrow together. So, huh? Send everybody all your love for tonight and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning, my angels. I hope you're really, really well. My goodness gracious me, I slept like a log last night. It took me a fair few hours to like come back down and to sort of become normal <laughs> after a day like yesterday. It sort of just takes quite a long time to my brain to stop rushing and thinking about things and yeah it just takes time to come back to ground level and then i think i went to bed at about two so uh, really rather a late night but once i got to sleep my goodness gracious me i was out for the count and um anyway it was so lovely to give my hair like a serious wash you know when you've I don't know whether you've had a shoot or you've had your hair done and they've used so much product. I literally shampooed my hair three times this morning and then I thought, well, I've got wet hair, I might as well. I might as well dice in it. So hence the uh, poodle curls this morning. And anyway, I've got the most gorgeous day ahead. I'm actually home alone, which is absolutely divine. And as I said yesterday, I have got the gals coming tomorrow. And of course, I've got a zillion pale pink roses. So, as you can see, the theme of the day <laughs> is pale pink. So I'm going to be creating the most magical, girly, Galentine's tablescape of dreams. And I know you guys love to watch my hosting, my entertaining, sort of like how-tos. So here we are. So this morning I went on a little bit of a ramage around the house and basically collated every single girly pink thing that we have in this household. <laughs> so it literally is going to be the most girly Valentine's extravaganza. And in some ways I've been toying with the idea of actually hosting it in the dining room, but I kind of think it then makes it really, really formal. And I don't really want it to be formal. I want it to be interactive. I want it to be casual, but just gorgeous. And I'm obviously going to be cooking and lots of baking. And there's something really lovely about being sort of really social whilst doing that. And so I'm actually going to host it in the kitchen. And although we've got lots of like blues and reds going on, you're not gonna see any of it because there is going to be a takeover of pink. So I'm gonna be using the breathtaking roses and create just the most divine tablescape of dreams. And I thought I would do it with you. So let's get straight into this. As I said, I've been around the house this morning and I've collected everything that we own that is pink that is going to work on the table. And as I always say with you, it's, it's almost a matter of like building it up and a little bit of trial and error. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to place down the things on the table that I know are absolutes. And then I can have an idea as to how many vases we're gonna need on the table. Obviously we've got a ridiculous amount of pale pink roses. And I don't know whether we're gonna create like a one large centerpiece for the table or whether we're gonna do loads of different really pretty little vases. So I've got all the options down here. I've also started to uh, bring out all of the different pale pink things that we have for food. So crudite bowls, little dips. I've got this incredible tower that is actually here that I'll show you a little bit later. Um, mostly because it's really heavy. And so I'm gonna do like a sweet treat tower. We're gonna have chocolate fondue. I'm going to create the most beautiful fondue board so that my guests can literally just take a strawberry and dip it into that delicious dark chocolate and basically show you how I'm gonna do it and what it's gonna look like. And you're gonna be able to do this in time for Valentine's, whether you wanna celebrate with your girlfriends or your partner or lots of friends, however you want to celebrate it. It will give you guys a little bit of inspiration before the big 
day and I'm so excited to see my girls. Christy is actually going on her honeymoon. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you'll know that it was her wedding in Barbados. So you guys will get to see her tomorrow, which is just absolutely divine. So we're gonna be catching up before she goes away. I think for like eight weeks. It's like a combination between a honeymoon and then her husband flies home. <laughs> and she's just gonna continue on the party. I mean, you go Glen Coco, as mean girls say. Anyway, so Christy is coming, Laura's coming, and then a few of the other girls, Claudia will be here. Um, and it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to share all of it with you. But I'm warbling away. I can't actually see how long. Oh, over five minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm really warbling away. And um, anyway, let's jump straight into this. You guys have seen the kitchen table a zillion times by this point. And I was kind of playing with the idea of actually placing our incredible family silver piece in the middle. I'm not quite sure. So it's out. I've taken it out of um, the safe and it's actually just the heaviest thing you've ever seen. But I'm actually going to take it off the table. For a moment, this thing is so heavy I cannot even begin to tell you. So that we can... Oh, sorry using every single muscle in my body to pick that thing up. So I've got a sneaky table, a naked table, and we're gonna build it up. So I've got all the gorgeous vases, I've got pale pink candles, literally baby pink candles. It is going to be an explosion of pink in here, and I cannot wait. So let's talk through what I've got and what I'm kind of thinking. I mean, even down to the drinks, we are going to be having uh, pink champagne, pink Laurent Perrier champagne. We're also gonna be having pale pink Mirabeau gin. This is Mirabeau's dry gin, and it is absolutely delicious. And um, even if you're not going with a pink theme, you need this in your drinks cupboard or your drinks tray because it's absolutely scrumptious. Then I'm thinking maybe like a Lillet. I always love to make like a pale pink sangria, all of those gorgeous bits and pieces. So in terms of table runners, I have these gorgeous pale pink. They're almost like a dusky pink. I think I've shown these to you before in the dining room and they are, I believe, I think these might actually just be ochre. I will, of course, try and find similar and pop it in that description box down below. But with any tablescape, you need to start with the runner. So let's do that. And as I said, we go with kind of like bluey themes in here. But considering we have so many pale pink roses, I definitely think that uh, by the time I'm finished, the pink will be taking over. It will be the star of the show. There we go. Even the boys have pale pink bow ties. I mean, I'm going all out. It is only Valentine's once a year, and actually, I like to celebrate it twice. I like to celebrate Valentine's and have a gorgeous, girly evening, catch up with my best friends. And then, of course, I love to celebrate it with Mark. And Mark and I are going to be doing something actually really special. He has organized, well, I say really special. I hope it's going to be special because actually I have no idea what we're doing. I've just been told to um, be rather formally dressed at a certain time on a certain date and I have no idea where we are going. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. But he is actually at this very moment away. So what a perfect time to host the girls. So. That's the table runner. I'm actually now going to pop down the placemats. Now these are edition 94, and they are the pale pink uh, little placemats. I absolutely love them because they've got sort of like small little hints of pink in them, and it's not too overpowering. But I actually think against the white cotton placemats, these are absolutely beautiful. They're a French cotton. And um, I think we picked these up in Rams, I believe, but there are so many different brands that, that do um, placemats like this that I will try and find some and link them down below. And I think with the bamboo and the pale pink, it will work and it will make it pop. So let's pop these down. <laughs> table 
table's chair, just so that you can see the table very clearly. So, we've just popped down the placemats, and it's looking rather bad, rather bad, but those are the bones of the tablescape. So, I always recommend, first of all, give your table a good old scrub, make sure it's clean first and foremost, then pop down your placemats and also place your runner. And then what you need to go and do is find all of your candles and little gorgeous votives and then um, also your vases. And then what you can do, I would even place them if you want to, just so that you can gauge how many you need before you start to create the beautiful little floral displays. So I'm actually, you know, hopefully you don't mind me saying this, I'm actually quite good at gauging how many we're gonna need. So what I've already done is I've actually placed them on a little tray. You always work in threes. So if you're going to have one set, it will be three. And if you're gonna have two sets, obviously it will be six. And everybody can do maths. I don't know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> but in floristry, you always work in threes. So I have got a few little different sets here. I've also got some gorgeous, Look at how stunning these antique pots are. I picked these up at Covent Garden Flower Market a few years ago, and they're just fabulous. I think they were like three pounds each. I'm actually going to use them to decorate the end of the island because we are going to be creating a show-stopping food, fruit, chocolate, sweet treats display for pudding. I always want people to come in and have them as like pre crudite but it's just not going to work because they're sweet treats and I've also had the most incredible chocolate delivery I've ever had so I will be most certainly showing that to you so my plan is to actually pop all of our basil leaves in here and I just think the fresh green and the pink is going to work so I think what we should do is we should meet in the scullery. We're gonna get all of these pale pink roses in and we are going to start to create the real bulk of the tablescape and create the most wow moment for people walking in. Here we go. These are all the gorgeous little pale pink vases I've decided to use today. And again, these are a collection of things that we have been collecting over the years and the majority of them apart from these these are Summerill and Bishop quite possibly the most exquisite tableware brand of all time just stunning um, apart from these all of the others are from Covent Garden Flower Market so I could not recommend it enough um, you do have to go Oh, at the crack of dawn. I think mommy and I have left at like four o'clock in the morning here before getting there at 5 a.m. and we're already late. <laughs> That's how early it is. Um, but you can pick up flowers for literally a fraction of the price. And so normally I've gone to flower, Covent Garden Flower Market before a big party or a big celebration or my luncheon. Any time of year that I need to buy flowers in bulk, I've normally gone there because the price is so much better. And you're able to find such gorgeous little trinkety bits like these and keep them forever. And again, for a fraction of the price. So I'm now going to bring in the enormous amounts of pale pink roses that we used yesterday for the photo shoot and create something, quite frankly, breathtaking with them. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen so many pale pink roses. This is literally the dream. Having the pale pink scullery and all of these just delicious pale pink Grand Prix roses is the absolute dream. I've also got a touch of foliage outside which will sort of like bring it to life and actually create something absolutely delicious with it. Talking of delicious, hi my little delicious blonde bombshell. He heard that the YouTube camera was on. He saw that you were here, so he just wanted to come and say hi. Are you saying hello to everybody? Oh my goodness, we've got the whole tribe. We've got the whole tribe. Oh my goodness. Oh, you want to come say hello as well? Come on then. Everybody is wishing you guys the most gorgeous Valentines. Oh, there's Oats. Oh, my little wig pig. The little shrimp that he is. <laughs> You guys thought you were coming here for tablescapes, but you're coming here for sausage loving as well. Mm. Oh, so scrumptious. Oh, Mr. Jealousy Chops. Well, the boys are going to help us 
do the floral arrangement, I think. Aren't you? <laughs> You're Mummy's little helpers. Right, so let's go and get the foliage. Oh, floristry helpers. There we go, there's one. One more. Oh, and some gorgeous eucalyptus. Look at this. It's an absolutely beautiful, stunning. And I think it will literally go perfectly with the roses. So this is our collection of gorgeous florals. I am genuinely blown away. I think these are absolutely gorgeous and actually overnight they have actually opened slightly. So I decided to keep them outside to keep them fresh, keep them cool and essentially keep them alive. I also snipped off all the tape which was actually holding them together. And uh, I just thought that we just let them have a little bit of space to breathe, a little bit of space to open and actually just keep them as cool as possible because um, we're very, very lucky for the house to be relatively warm and I didn't want them to get the shock and die. So this way, we're actually able to sort of bring them inside. They can climatize to the warmth in here. I mean, just look at this one here. <gasps> Isn't it just breathtaking? And then we can create the tablescape and then they will have tonight to again to climatize and tomorrow they will look magnificent. As you can see, we're obviously very rose heavy, <laughs> mostly because I want to use them and have a second purpose for them because how could I possibly not? They are absolutely breathtaking. So that is one of the first little vases finished and I'm going to recreate the other two and then just continue, just keep going <laughs> until we have used all of the roses. I do think in fact we might actually have to go with one centerpiece in the middle just because there are so many roses. It's never a problem I've had before, and it's a rather nice problem to have. So I'm actually thinking maybe to use one of our champagne buckets. I think that would be fun. And then use the other one and fill it with champagne. What do we think, ladies? I think yes. <laughs> right. I'm going to pop you again on a time lapse, because at this point, goodness gracious knows how long this vlog is, but um, I truly hope you guys are enjoying it. Anyway, I'm gonna pop some gorgeous music on and enjoy the floral time lapse. They are so breathtaking. They're actually making me emotional. How can something be just so beautiful and the way that they are opening up i have just slightly pulled back a few of their petals and i just think it creates a little bit more gravitas and just shows quite how exquisite a pale pink rose is god that's stunning absolutely stunning okay so those are those three i think i could do with another three of those <laughs> I don't seem to have dented the roses, um, but let's continue. I'm gonna do all the little, tiny little vases with one, if not two roses in and see where we get to. So because we haven't in fact dented the roses, I've decided to actually take out a few of our antique silver pieces, which 
I don't think I've ever filled them with water. Obviously they are watertight, but I thought what a lovely way to be able to repurpose the flowers in something that is just quite so special. So I've spent a little bit of time arranging them, but I think they look incredible so we've got a little bit of the baby breath in there we've got the eucalyptus and then I have pulled back the roses slightly and of course they are going to bloom that little bit more with obviously the heat in here um, but I think it's going to look exceptional it is going to be an explosion of pink wouldn't you say gosh I've still got so many roses left though so we are going to continue creating a few more bud vases and then I think what I'm going to do is actually use a champagne bucket as the centerpiece and create something just magnificent and then again we'll create another rather large floral arrangement for the kitchen island and uh, then it will be all cohesive there will be a zillion pale pink roses and I think it will make quite the splash <laughs> What I've decided to do first is actually take the florals that I've already created over to the table just to see how much space we have left because we have a rather a lot of pale pink bud vases and then we'll be able to see quite how much space we have left. So let's move these through to the kitchen. Well, I think it's safe to say that there has been an explosion of pink in here and I just don't think I can get any more pale pink roses on the table. I think the two antique um, vases, shall we call them, have done the trick in terms of the highs and lows. I mean, we could do something magnificent sort of here, but I just don't think it needs it. By the time we add all of the voltives, the lighting, the little candlestick holders, I think it's going to look mind-blowingly beautiful. Um, but I think it looks absolutely beautiful so far. What do you guys think? How beautiful are these roses? So I think for the moment, the florals on the tablescape are finished. I'm going to add all of the gorgeous bits and pieces I have over here. So the napkins, we've got lots of candles, we've got these beautiful Italian blown glass candlestick holders. We've got some gorgeous blush pink candlesticks over there. We're gonna go with actually gold hardware accessories. Gosh, I'm making it sound as though it's a, a handbag. So the um, accessories are in fact the salt and pepper. And then we've got some really, really pretty. I actually ordered these off of Amazon. So they are pretty little chiffon ribbons in dusky pink. And I'm actually going to use them potentially to tie ribbons around the candlestick holders or possibly as the napkin ring holders tie beautiful ribbons. These were actually my grandmother's. I don't know whether the pink is just too baby pink and isn't going to go with the table. But considering the roses are as pale pink baby pink as it gets i think they could go actually so i'm going to pop you back down here and then i'm going to show you the difference so we could go with these as i said they are the sweetest prettiest they're almost like tulle and they were my grandmother's so they are so so precious the only thing i don't think that's going to go is the dusky pink ribbon with the really barbie pale pink napkin or we could go with sort of like a dusky pink. Again, that would match beautifully. Or we could introduce the fresh white napkins. Then the dusky pink will sit beautifully on the top and it will also just pop out the whites of the baby breath within the floral arrangements. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a play, if I'm honest with you. And um, I'm probably gonna leave you again on a time lapse so that you guys can see how I am building up this tablescape. But so far, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I definitely think the girls are going to walk in and be like, Leonora, this is crazy. Um, but you know me, I love to create things that are absolutely beautiful. So let's keep going. <laughs> 
So next step, candle holders, candle stick holders, I should say. They're in this gorgeous antique brass, and I believe these are from Ochre. I will find them, and I will link them below. So I'm going to pop these on the table, and one thing I love about them is that they're all different sizes. So again, it creates highs and lows, and you don't have to do that then with the florals because your candlesticks are doing it for you. So it's just a matter of working out where you wish for them to go because of the height. But I've got six of them, so it should be relatively easy, she says, <laughs> to do the highs and lows. I think I might do a high up here another high relatively in the middle and then steal that one and pop it in there. I could potentially put another candle there. Oh, we're having a bit of fun playing jiggery pokery with the candlesticks. And then trust me, when we add the beautiful blush pink candles into these, it will look amazing. One there, so we've got one, two, we've done one, that's why we haven't done it. Again, I would recommend to try and keep it relatively equal on both sides. There we go. And as you can see, I'm not laying up the heads. Tomorrow, I actually believe we're six, potentially eight, hence why I'm laying for eight. And then if we need to, we can always take two placings away. So those are the candlestick holders, and now for the candlesticks. Feast your eyes on these, are they not absolutely beautiful? Now, when it comes to candles, I must admit, I'm a bit of a snob. I do like them extra long and pointy. Do not take that out of context. I am talking about candles here. So as you can see, they are relatively long and um, they're pointy. I just really love that tapered end. And then when you see them slot into place, <gasps> They look amazing. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is going to look exceptional. Another thing I like to do is actually just light them for about 30 seconds just so that the candles do not look new. Um, I would say that that is one of my top hosting tips. There we go, I'm going to pop in there. And then put this one in here. Again, another one of my top tips is just to ensure that the candles are far away from any florals. We don't want to burn the house down. That would not be very good, would it now? Okay, well, I would say that that is really starting to come together quite beautifully. Now I'm actually going to add in the beautiful little tea lights. Again, pale pink again beautiful and I'm now actually just it's a matter of finding gaps we want to fill in any gaps keep it relatively equal down the table two more of those make sure they're on both sides because this time of year when it is getting relatively dark quite early on is all about setting the scene with candlelight. It is so romantic and I think the girls are going to love it. Marcus is going to be very jealous, I must say. He is going to have wished he was here. Now, I mean, I think we've got quite a lot of candles going on. However, I just think these are too beautiful not to use. Look at how stunning they are, but I have actually only got two. What I might do is I might actually take away the ends of these, because I think there are enough of them. Pop two down here, and then we can actually introduce some pink into the... Um, into the fireplace and then we can use the two end ones and they'll be slightly lower and less sort of sort of quite abrupt in your face when you arrive and don't you think they look so dainty and pretty 
oh, they almost look as though they are a bud vase, but they're not. Okay, so I've had a little think, and I actually think the beautiful fresh white French linen is going to look better on the table. It's just gonna make that baby breath pop, and it's gonna make it a little bit more fresh and girly, believe it or not. And then I've got the beautiful chiffon dusky pink, and I think against the white, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the frayed edges. It just brings that little bit more natural element to the table. So what I've done is I've actually worked out the exact length that I need. I'm going to then trim every single one of the ribbons the same length and then make the perfect bow. I'm almost gonna do like beautiful pussy bow ribbons around all of them. And trust me when I say that I've done trial and error and got it wrong. <laughs> so this is the easiest and the best way to do it so I'm gonna pop you guys on a time-lapse I'm going to stop crouching <laughs> and I'm going to just create the most beautiful napkin ring holders out of actually relatively cheap ribbon again I got this off of Amazon we'll leave it in that description box down below but let's continue to create the most breathtaking girly galantine tablescape of dreams I wish love was an easy song to write Cause I'd have pages worth of words that were not lies Your name would be the melody that's on my tongue oh, Okay, love, so I have officially <laughs> lost song. the plot uh, the blue chairs were really upsetting me and we have the most exquisite very very pale they're almost beige they've got a slight hint of dusky pink in them and if you look really really closely the stitching is in fact pale pink and green and these gorgeous like greasy antique chairs are actually from the dining room so yes i have actually gone and switched all of the chairs but i think it makes it <gasps> Is this not the most beautiful tablescape you have ever seen? So the French white linen napkins with the dusky pink bow, you've, you've got the gorgeous white placemat and then the bamboo and pink on the top and I just think it looks incredible. We've got a white wine glass, a champagne glass of course, and then the gorgeous green little water glasses. I will talk you through the whole table once it has officially been finished but so far I am absolutely head over heels in love with my pale pink galantine's tablescape so as we've still got probably over 200 pale pink roses left I'm going to create something absolutely breathtaking for the fireplace I'm also going to create something just stunning excuse the behind the scenes it's an absolute bomb site but I'm going to take out dried winter over there and replace it with the most extravagant gorgeous enormous arrangement of pale pink roses I might even get the little one that matches this gorgeous vase and do a little version as well and we do actually in fact have a couple of people staying tomorrow night so I will be putting some gorgeous roses in their bedroom and then I will then start to place all of the gorgeous little pots that we have and just start to get ready uh, for all of the sweet treats that will be coming out and we will be placing them all down on this island. I cannot wait. There are no words that have been written or been sung that my ears have heard or I've cheapened with my tongue Hold the weight of this thing that we call love Oh, love's not a simple song But my songs feel Though not pretty or We've still got so many roses to get through 
So I'm just gonna keep creating floral arrangements. I'm literally struggling to find more vases at this point. So I'm actually going to use the pair of beautiful champagne buckets that we have. I'm gonna use one as a vase and then the other one to store all the pink champagne in it. So it'll be lovely, they'll be matching, but um, have different uses, which I love. And then what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna keep creating different floral arrangements. I'm gonna pop a few in the bedrooms, uh, in the bathrooms, in the kitchen, anywhere that I can shake a stick at at this point. So I'm gonna pop you guys again on a time lapse and um, just finish creating the most breathtaking arrangements and then I will show you the final setup. At this rate, it's actually getting dark outside. Oh, I've been at this for hours, but it will be pure perfection by the time I'm finished. And I cannot wait to show you. I hope you know it's true I'm not perfect in my ways And I let you down most days No, it's true The darling I love I think it's safe to say that I am finally finished with the floral arrangements in the kitchen. In the kitchen being the operative, operative sentence. I don't think I've ever seen so many pale pink roses. I think we've used just over half of them. And every single time I walk into this kitchen, it is actually taking my breath away. It is so, so beautiful. And as I always say, it's all about the details. And so I just can't. Let's take a little look at this breathtaking kitchen. Obviously I haven't done any of the baked goods, but I'm actually going to do them tomorrow just before the girls arrive, just so that they are so fresh. And there is something so special about the house smelling like freshly baked cookies. Oh, yum, de la scrum. But first, and probably to wrap up things tonight, let's take a look at this mega pink explosion Valentine's extravaganza tablescape. So as you can see, it is actually dark outside, but to give you a quick glance at the kitchen island, this is the beautiful floral arrangement that you watched me create. So I've pulled back the majority of the roses, popped in a little bit of the baby breath, got some gorgeous eucalyptus and then I've actually used a little bit of the foliage to create depth and then I've actually chosen the little mini me vase and I've only kept roses in there and again I've paired back those beautiful petals and they look magnificent and then I've had a little bit of a rummage in my candle drawer and I found this beautiful wild rhubarb and it's a plum blossom freesia and apple hand poured botanical candle and it's got all beautiful like pinks and purples in there and so I'm going to take him out of the wrapper pop it on this gorgeous little plate that it came with and open that up tomorrow and then whilst I was having my rummage, I found this gorgeous pale pink cabbage crudite or sort of snackette platter. So I'm going to chop up some gorgeous vegetables and then pop in a beetroot dip in the middle. And then when it comes to our sweet treats, I'm going to be creating a towel. So that is all ready to rock and roll. And of course, we've got the champagne bucket and I'm gonna be serving pink champagne, maybe rosé, we're gonna have some pink sangria and it's just going to be heavenly. I feel like because it's dark outside, you can't quite see how pink this table is, but this is the finished tablescape. And it has literally blown my mind. It has surpassed any expectation that I had this morning when I started this tablescape. 
and I am so pleased with the way that it turned out. I am going to show you tomorrow, just before the girls arrive, the table in the daylight because I just don't think, with it being pitch black outside, it is not doing the fairy tale princess pink tablescape any justice. But look at how incredible this looks. I think the girls are going to think that I have officially lost the plot, but I had to use these breathtaking roses that Flowered so generously sent for the photo shoot. And I thought, what better reason than to get all of my gorgeous girlfriends together and to celebrate each other. And actually tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to write each and every one of them a little Galentine's letter and just explain how special each and every single one of them is to me. And then because we had so many pale pink roses, I actually created a stunning floral arrangement and two little pretty dainty ones to go in the fireplace, just to lighten and brighten the fireplace. It can be quite a dark area, but we are not having anything dark and look at this so I've used our family champagne bucket as a vase obviously it is watertight because it's used to having champagne in it and I've used so many of the roses and look at how magnificent they look I just can't quite believe how this has turned out. And then those gorgeous little pale pink pots I've used and again, just placed the roses in there. They're quite tight actually, which is not normally what I would do. I like to keep things pretty loose and whimsical, but I do think that that complements so beautifully. I just cannot believe how it has turned out and I'm so excited to see the girls reaction. I'm praying that the roses don't die overnight. I would literally be devastated. The hours of blood, sweat and tears that have gone into this tablescape. Oh my goodness gracious me, but I cannot wait to celebrate Valentine's with the girls and of course you. So tomorrow I am going to be a bit of a busy bee. I've got lots of cooking to do because obviously I will be making dinner and lots of baking to do because I just think we've got to have lots of sweet treats. I've also got to show you the most unbelievable delivery I think I've ever had of the most delicious and the most beautiful chocolate you have ever seen. So I'm so excited about that. And I'm just so happy that I'm not only able to share it with my best girlfriends, but also you guys. And you all seem to love it when I do hosting and entertaining vlogs. So I truly hope you guys are enjoying this one. Anyway, I'm going to be calling it a night and I will see you guys bright eyed and bushy tailed for the most beautiful Galentines you have ever seen. Because my songs feel Though not pretty or poetic I hope you know it's true I'm not perfect in my ways And I let you down most days But know it's true But darling I love Darling